hidden beneath a mop of ancient wisteria and shrouded by some of the most impressive oaks on our property sits the oldest building on our farm. A little two bedroom house that holds the promise of a future family home for us. But what to do with it? In this episode, we're going to reveal some of our biggest and most ambitious future plans to date. We have no idea what the journey ahead holds in store, but the destination promises some pretty big things. And we're excited to take you along for all of it. amazing to stand here and think about what the future could hold for this very spot on our farm. Behind me is our derelict house. This is the original building on the farm, the oldest house, and to be honest, it's a bit of a mess. But we have big plans and we thought it was high time we shared with you all what we hope the future has in store for this bit of the farm and for our life here as a family. So um, today's episode, we're going to talk to you about this building specifically. You guys all know what's been going on inside that building right there because we've been documenting it, you know, mm -hmm. the building of the kitchen, the other bits and pieces. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit more about this building here and our future plans. Hopefully put a kind of a timeline on that as well. Very tentative timeline, but yeah. We're going to show you inside. Um, that'll be the first time that we've ever gone inside that building. Well, since we did the very first tours of the farm, yeah. which is over a year ago now. So yeah. if you're new around here, it's quite likely that you haven't ever been in there. And yeah. if you have been here a while, well, it's been a while. And to be honest, it's been a while since I've been in there. Yeah, it's um, smelly. It's pretty gnarly and it's pretty... Well, it's a derelict house and it's a bit of a mess and hopefully we'll be able to talk you through what our plans are, talk you through what we're thinking and it'll all make a bit more sense by the end of the episode. Absolutely. And we'd love for you guys to be a part of the entire process. Yeah. But I think I'm getting carried away. So maybe we no. should um, yeah. eat breakfast yeah. and then get inside there and yeah. have a look around. Do you know what I've remembered? Sorry to interrupt. What? Chickens spent a night in there once. <laughs> the chickens did spend two nights in there. I'm losing my, my, my breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> you're in dry croissants, God to <laughs> Come on, Chris. You want some go. too?
All right, so this is the furthest room away from the main house. Basically, everything else in this particular property is that way. We're right at the very end. Just trying to open that window there, I can't, but on the other side of that window is the small sofa area that we've got, um, and behind that is the not garage. So that's what we've got there. This entire room, is basically one giant cobweb. It is gnarly. And I'm standing in the middle of about a thousand spiders. It's also fairly uncomfortable. So if you see me itching a little bit for the rest of this episode, apologies in advance. So this is probably the gnarliest room of all of the rooms that we've got in this little property here. How many, how many rooms have we got? We've got one, two, three, three main rooms and two bathrooms in this property. It's probably around about, 70, 80 square meters worth of space, and it's on a single floor. The roof is made out of tiles and wood and is basically collapsing in um, and, well, being propped up by these kind of supports. That doesn't feel very supportive at the moment though. Um, yeah, this roof is basically falling in. It's collapsed over in that corner and it's collapsed there right behind me and it's collapsing in the middle. So not only are there a whole bunch of spiders in here um, and one giant cobweb, which I feel like Indiana Jones, I'm just pushing the, the cobwebs to one side as I walk through it. Um, it also has a collapsing roof. So we'll need to look at that in the future. All in all, it's unsafe and it's pretty horrible to be in this room. Originally, we understand this was one of the bedrooms, would have been a master bedroom in here. Um, it's a nice size. Uh, as when we did come in here, there was a double bed. I remember when we first got here um, to the property, we came and had a look inside here, um, and there used to be a double bed right where I'm standing. Um, and of course, back then, we didn't really film very much of, um, of coming into this house just because we were like oh my goodness it's gnarly and we couldn't see anything it was covered in horrible but i do remember that the double bed in here was completely made up the pillowcases were there the duvet cover was there everything was as it had been left 20 years ago with the exception of a dead mouse right in the middle of the bed quite creepy so behind us you'll see a door that right there that leads through to a bathroom. Let's just go and have a quick look at that. Oh, I just had a spider jump on me. <laughs> so if you're an arachnophobe, <clears throat> this isn't the, uh, the section of the show really for you. There we go, there's the bathroom. Doesn't that look good? All right, more detail in a minute. Look, more spiders going up and down here. Blimey, they're everywhere. Whoops, yucky, two of them. <laughs> So when we were playing Hick Hack Hock, um, Tara and I basically at the beginning, before we started filming this episode, um, we, uh, we, but we did a Hick Hack Hock. Who comes in and, and does the really gnarly bits? And of course, I lost. I would have offered anyway, folks, um, even if I didn't lose, because I know that Tara doesn't particularly like creepy crawlies, although she's definitely getting better from when we first got here and there were a whole bunch of them. She was all freaked out. But anyway, here we go. <clears throat> We've got, of course, loads more cobwebs in here, but not quite as many as in that other room. There's a shower down in that corner right there. Behind us, there's a gas boiler that doesn't really work very much anymore. Um, the whole room is completely tiled and it's got a slant on the roof coming down. It's also steps down from the main level. So that's something that I don't really like very much. You know, you wake up in the middle of the night, um, and you get out of bed and then you're, you know, you're, you're half asleep and you come in to use the bathroom. I mean, you've got to step down three very big steps there. That's going to be uncomfortable. So probably have to do something about that. Um, but anyway, there's some electrics in here. 
we'll definitely have to do something about that too. And if anybody's interested in what Pan 10 looked like 20 years ago, there's a bottle down here too. In the sink, we've got some toilet roll. There's an old soap holder here. Oh, that's very pretty. I'm sure Tara can do something with that. I'm not sure about the soap though. I think that's past its sell by date. And then there's, well, I don't know what that is. What is that? No idea. Antiseptic, maybe. Anyway, that's there. Probably get rid of that. Um, old toilet system, toilet, bidet, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, those cobwebs are gnarly. Might be really cool one day to do something really special with that view so that we've definitely got views from this end of the property. I'm excited about that. What a window. Interestingly, it's such a small window. You'd want that to be a massive feature, wouldn't you? You'd want that to be a really big part of whatever gets built here. All right, I'm gonna go and pass you across to Tara to show you the next room. Yeah. You're not going to believe what's in there. It smells dreadful. Tara! Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay, my darling, it is your turn to go back in. You're doing the middle room. Really? Yeah. I'm living the dream here in my deck chair, Santa. It looks like Sawyer needs to go to sleep. To oh, hello, my little man. <laughs> what happened? Dirty, yeah. Mommy, help me. You're going to come and help me? That's yeah. a good idea. Okay. Come, come. Are you ready? Gonna, are you going to keep mummy safe from the spiders? Yeah. Okay, cool. Good idea. All right, we'll see you later. Do you want my hat? No, thanks. I'm going to try not to get in touch with the spiders. Oh, I think you'll fail with that, darling. Really? Is it yeah. that bad? Take the hat. No, thanks. Well, I'm going to duck. Crusoe, we warned Mummy, didn't we? We said there's spiders in there. Spiders inside that house. Is there spiders inside that house? Yeah. Gnarly. All right, buddy. You lead the way. Okay, so Crusoe and I are on our way in. Maybe Can't say I'm looking forward to this. Maybe are you coming to help, sweetie? Yeah. Okay. All right, Crusoe, are you going to keep me safe from the spiders? Yeah. I think there's a red here. I think it's open. Should we just push it? Wow. Ooh. See, sir? Yeah. Gnarly. Yeah. Right, so my destination is this second room here on the right of this corridor. It's very Caesar, darling. Oh, loads of spiders. Now, this is where we're headed. What's in there? Peace. Hey? Um, Do you remember what happened in here? Yeah. Let's open this window, shall we? lovely view but that's about it that's lovely right so this is the second bedroom in this house two bedrooms the one in the end is where John just was and when we got here this had sorry so let me just tell you why this is such a mess when we got the chickens we went away um, I can't even remember where we went but anyway we went away for a few nights um, and my cousin Nicole and her husband were here looking after the chickens and we were a bit nervous because, or was it because we hadn't had the coop finished? I can't quite remember. But anyway, the chickens spent a couple of nights in here Mama. because we were a bit scared of losing them. 
now we like we feel more confident. Mama, yes, there's a bin there. Yeah, there's a bin there. Hey. Anyway, so the chicken spent a couple of nights in this room, um, and well, the honest truth is we just never bothered cleaning it because we took the chickens out and then you'd lock the door. Um, but here we are. So, and there's toilet there. That's a toilet there. Hey. We must clean this up. Yeah, we need to clean it up, don't we? So this is the second bedroom, and when we got here, there was a bunk bed in here, and I, I don't know if John's mentioned, but when we arrived, everything was made up, so all the beds were made up, there was kind of clothes on the bed, there was stuff in here, I don't actually think we took a video of this room, which is such a shame, but yeah, just a bunk bed in here, um, and it was obviously a room for kids, and where grandkids stayed, or children stayed, um, and then a chest of drawers here. So the plan could be to keep this as a bedroom, perhaps for the boys. It's not the biggest room, but it does have the most beautiful view over the gardens. Now, I personally would want to make the window a lot bigger so that we could get more light in here and make more of that view. I've got spider webs. And um, it could be super lovely if we got rid of the spiders and did a bit of work. The other option would be to knock down that wall, which connects with the main room of the house and make this just a bit more of a bigger open plan um, space with just one bedroom in here and we keep the other bedroom as the other part of the house so we connect the two buildings have this bedroom have our bedroom and work like that the thing is though if I look around this room it's pretty knackered there's a crack in that corner there's a crack in that corner the roof is sagging it's definitely seen better days it's all warped and gross there are electrics in here, but we daren't switch them on. And well, there's cracks all over the wall. These windows need to be replaced. The whole thing basically needs to be gutted and rebuilt. And the other thing that's really weird about the setup in this house is that there's these two bedrooms and there's two bathrooms as well, oh, which to me makes absolutely no, no sense. Hi, oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> you gave mummy a fright. He's about to put his hand in the giant spider web. We've got a bug in here. Hello! I thought okay. you were going to sleep. No chance. Okay, not yet. Far too exciting things going on at the moment. Okay. Well, you're right, we should come inside here. Darling, there's some pretty significant cracks in here. I yeah. haven't ever really noticed. They are gnarly. And we've got a big ant nest right there. Really? Yeah, a really big one. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. It's going to be a shame to disturb all the all the wildlife, isn't it? You know. I don't know that it's such a shame. Darling, ants are pollinators too. So, just across from the bedroom is this bathroom. Second bathroom. The first one, obviously, being in there where John's just been. That's the first bathroom. Second bathroom. Don't go in there, Chris. It's very sir. I love, I love a beetle. A beetle. Yes. Goodness me, there really is a lot of wildlife in here. But look, I mean, there is still a towel here from the previous owners. So we didn't really do a very thorough job of cleaning this up, but there was really no need at the time because it needs so much work. We kind of just concentrated on trying to get it in as quickly as possible. But anyway, in here we have got a shower, sort of. Yeah, we've got a shower, basin, little cupboard, toilet, bidet, and a little window. And above this room, is really the weight of that incredible oh, wisteria. Beetle, beetle. Oh god, it's a big beetle, I see him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are there loads of beetles in there? Oh my word. Wow, this is basically like a safari. I'm not squashing No, don't squash those. Those are those are weird. Be big beetles. Okay, wow. I'm gonna be honest with all of you, this is not my favourite video to film. God, this place is an absolute mess. Right, I think we're done with this room. Let's get back out of here. Maybe I'll go and um, take over the job of putting Soya down for his nap and um, let John carry on. Seems like a good idea to me. <laughs> right, anyway, what we could do, I should talk about what we could do. So the plan is, right, with this room here, like we've, this is the one we've just been in. So we could either keep that as a bedroom or we could knock this wall down and make this a whole big kind of open plan space. Just keep one bathroom in there and then this bathroom we could make into some kind of playroom office study snug i don't know chris please no 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 come 
because I don't know what those beetles are. Come. Um, so there are options, you know, or I don't know, knock it through, make one big family bathroom. There's, There's lots of options There's with this space. Oh, is Daddy and Sawyer are right here. Come see these beetles. All right. Look in the shower. What? Wow, Crusoe, let's switch that light on. Oh, are the electrics working in here? I didn't know that. Oh, gosh. Oh, it smells gnarly, hey? This whole Crusoe, what are they? Hey. Beetles. Do you know what I think's happened to those guys, Crusoe? They're cockroaches, I think, not beetles. Sorry, what? Those are not cockroaches. And they're not? They're not cockroaches. Why? No, they're beetles. Okay, do you know oh, what? I'm really unhappy about being in here, darling. No, the lights are freaking me out. Can I switch them off? Yeah. There's an original towel. That's got to be worth some money. <laughs> it's been hanging untouched, hanging there for 20 years. Bids below, please, folks. Did you, um, did you have it inside the cabinet? No, Why I haven't not? been in there. I saw one looked like one of those beetles and I wasn't going anyway. Dude, there's actually stuff in there. What? Wow. What is in there? Well, stuff. A box as well. You never know, we might find some treasure. Oh my goodness. My daddy, is there a light on, please? Turn the lights on, please. The yes. lights have died. Have they? Just yeah. give them a wiggle. No, no. <laughs> okay, so we've got a box. Let's save that box for later. We'll open it up just in a minute. Ooh, cool. But we've also got like Is that a box? Some full a full tub of eau de toilette perfume. Okay. Okay, we'll take that out and have a look at it in just a minute. That sounds like fun. Because the lights are broken, sweetie. Got some water in the bottle or whatever that might be. Got a spray perfume. A toothbrush. Oh, gross. And then... Oh, no. Blood? No, 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 no. Darling, stop. Put Dude, it back. that has to come out. No, to stop. That. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done with this, this house tour. It's over to you. Can we get our children out of here? Iodine, maybe? I think it's iodine. I don't think Is it's it? bloody drama queen. It looked like blood. It's iodine. Iodine. Can you imagine if it was blood? I think mean, let's get out of here. Come on, Crusoe. I've got a good idea. Yeah. Let's go to the sand pit. Now leave those beetles. Say bye-bye, beetles. Bye, beetles. We're going family. We're family. Yeah, they're going to their family, hey? Yeah. So many days, they're going to eat supper. And they're going to eat supper with their family. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. All right, love. Here's your box. What's in it? Well, let's open it together. What do you think it is? Carefully. Disgusting, mouldy soap. Put it in the bin. Could have been treasure. <laughs> Definitely was not treasure. <laughs> All right, what's this? Oh, yuck. It says poor hom, which means it's for, for, for dudes. Mm -hmm. it. You smell it. No, 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 don't spray it on you. Why? Darling, sis, man. What? Spray it on a leaf or something. It's alcohol. Mm -mm. Stop it. You're freaking me out. There you go. Can you smell my leg? Oh, it smells like real man. Um, I'll put it um, right on the leaf. On the leaf? Yeah. No, 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 Crusoe, please don't. Can I? Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we've got one room left to show, Can haven't we? Yes, yes. and okay. I'm, I'm kind of... Should we put these in the bin? No, yes. let's put these in the bin. Let's put them in the bin. Let's open it. No, we put it in the bin now, buddy, because it's not because it's gnarly. Oh, you check the beetles. Okay. You're gonna check the beetles are okay. I think that they're no, I think they're just fine. Leave the beetles alone. Why? Because they're in a gnarly place. Why? What do you think we should do with this building here, Crusoe? Um, crush that down. Crash it down. Yeah, uh, crush this wall down here. This next room has become somewhat of a dumping ground for us. And so, well, hopefully we can see the wood for the trees, so to speak. Let's have a look. 
The first thing that you should know about this particular room is its location within the entire property. I'm gonna start way back over here and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Here we go, turning around. So on the right hand side there, we've got the house that we've been renovating. Right there, that's our stone house. That's where guests often stay. And all the way over there, we've got the tiny house, orchard over there, not garage right there. We've got the couch area there. And this is the house that we've been talking about. So that's the sort of an L shape where the two bathrooms are. And then we've got Maria's doors. Thank you very much. Maria from Porto gave us those old doors. They've been stored there, so they've been kept dry. And then this is the house that we're talking about right now. There's the entrance to the house that we've been renovating. If you remember back in the day, there used to be another door there. So we used to have one door, two doors, and then this. So why is the location key? Have a look at this. Wouldn't it be super cool if when you walked into the main courtyard of this house, of this property, you could see all the way through this building here and right down to the lawn area that we've been working so hard on. Perhaps you can see Sawyer and Crusoe's Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse when we've built it. Perhaps you can see the huge view all the way in front of us if we just prune some of these big trees that we've got growing over there. Perhaps you can see this magnificent stone table. Something to think about. Okay, so what have we got inside this room? Well, we've got a failing roof, massively failing roof. So much so that we've got snails in it. Disgusting. Um, in terms of location, this is the main room that comes off of the corridor that leads down to the bedrooms. There's also an exit door there. I'm not entirely sure why that would be, but there is. Um, and this is the room itself. There's an archway. There's a um, stove in the corner there. We've got a couple of windows. Um, it would be really, we've got some, um, some plants. <laughs> Not exactly house plants though. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of building stuff. Like I say, we have been rather using this as a dumping ground. And there's a window right there. We've also got a couple of electrical sockets and, and what have you, but you know, what to do with that. Above the stove, the wood burner, which is, by the way, beautiful. Look at this, fantastic, wow. That's definitely gonna be saved for something beautiful. Above the wood burner, we've got a window and that window looks out onto Crusoe Sandpit, a hill over that way, which is where the tree house is gonna be built. And this field here, this was the original oat field that we tried to grow oats in this year, but that didn't work out. And just down there, that's the lawn area. Not only are we gonna to have to clear out all the cobwebs and sort everything out, but we're definitely gonna to have to replace this roof. Um, it's falling in and even the beams inside the ceiling are gonna to need to be replaced too. So, um, well, a lot to do. Wow, that beam is really rotten, isn't it? Which one? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Have you talked about this lovely fireplace? I have, yeah. Isn't it spectacular? I think whatever happens, we have to cherish that yeah. and really look after so, it. So the two things I'd like to look after really well are the, is the glass from these doors. Save the glass and save the fireplace. Yeah. So, shall we talk a little bit about what we're going to do? We'll tell everybody what we think we're going to do with this house. So then, what's the plan? We've done a lot of soul searching and I think we've come to one conclusion. Well, probably the only thing worth saving is this very special stone table. So our plan is to start from scratch. We're currently in conversations with an architect who we will hopefully receive some drawings from in September. The very first drawings are what will be our new home here on the farm. The plan is then to take down this derelict house and the house we're currently living in to create a bigger, proper family home here on the farm. We want to try and build it to 
blend with the landscape. Our vision is something of a, I don't know, like a Mediterranean stone house feel. We're really, really excited about the project and super excited that you will get to be a part of it from the very beginning. You've all been such an incredible source of support and just love throughout this entire journey on our farm. And this will be the biggest project we'll probably ever undertake here. And it really marks our commitment to making this our home and the kind of the commitment that we see our future here in Portugal and how much we love it here. We don't know what the future holds with this project. We're in the really early stages. After the architect's drawings come in, we then need to apply for planning permission. We need to get all of our paperwork in order. And we, of course, need to get the money from the bank in order to do it. So there's a lot of hoops to jump through. It could all go horribly wrong, but fingers crossed with a little bit of luck, we'll start building in the new year. There's a lot of questions we get every week about how easy it is to live in Portugal, how easy it is to do what we're doing and how easy it is to build here and to create a life. And well, we're going to take you through the whole journey because like I say, we have no idea what we have in store for us, whether or not the process is going to be easy or hard, whether it's going to be quick or long. Um, we've heard really mixed things. Some people get their planning permission in a few months. Other people, we've heard, it's taken over five years. What we can promise you though, is that we're going to take you along for the good and the bad, for the happy and the challenging. And well, as we figure it all out and muddle on through, I think it's going to be one heck of a ride. So if you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And for all of you that are here every week, if you've enjoyed the video, please remember to hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment we love hearing from you, especially those of you that write to us week after week. We really feel so connected to all of you and we just can't thank you enough for being a part of this crazy old journey that we're on. It makes it all worthwhile and you're helping our little family make our dreams come true and for that we can only say the most enormous thank you. Remember, be brave, think big and explore and we'll see you next time. Cheers folks. You got the heart that is bigger than the sun You got the smile that is wider than the fun Whatever you imagine will come true Whatever you wish upon a star will do And there is only one thing you should really love It is your heart when it sings up above Hey you over there It's time to get up and make the world shine It's time to get back to feeling so fine You can dance or sing or you can sing you got to find the voice that was lost You got to find the sparkle in the frost You got to find the passion in the must You got to find the light in the dust You are beautiful and magical and wonderful